Yo guys, what's up? Episode 32 of Beasts of the Wild today, and we got new maps, so keep watching. First, I have three more matches on original maps and new animals, like the Sand Viper, a snake with horns on its head. Looks like those creatures from Tremors. A dromedary camel goes down from close range. You recognize it by its single hump. As soon as my lethals are set up, it comes running in again. It was hard to spot him through that local sandstorm. And just when I'm done reloading, it comes in again, sets off my claymores without getting hurt. He's thinking about going all the way, but I'm not. My radar spots a regular camel. Head glitch and shoot? Bullshit. A G36C versus an RPD. That camel is coming home with me. Head on the wall, bro. Head on the wall. A first victory, 5v1 and level 36. Time for a nice match in progress then. Right after spawning in, I already spot a llama. Yes, I know. They spit. Grenade doesn't help though. But the claymores, they always help. Two llamas or three. Bam. Three. It's so simple. 3VO and a loss. Backlot then, where we run into havoc with the Bezor Ibex. A real badass. It looks like a Capricorn, but with really impressive horns. I see another one running upstairs and quickly go in pursuit to take him out. His horns are gonna get me a good amount of money on the black market. Don't ask me how, but it actually jumped onto my claymores as well. And a bit later on, I actually get to see for myself how incredibly high and far it can jump. Of course, it's the largest Ibex in the world, and also one of the dumbest, apparently. One more? Yep, same spot. Unfortunately, we lost the match, I got 6 VO, and just came up short to release the chopper on the bees or ibex. Bummer. This ibex lives in Turkey and because I was in town the Turks called me up to solve a problem for them because apparently one of their TV networks got taken over by terrorists. That's right, terrorists. One of the ISIS bastards gets gunned down and I'll show you how to bomb something properly, you motherfuckers. If you go upstairs when leaving the control room, you can see a great location to head glitch two sides behind this construction over here. And what did I say? Proper bombing. Allah Wakbar. ISIS calls in the chopper, but the last member dies by the hands of my bullets. A heavy loss for my team, but a 3VO for me on broadcast. Next we got Kill House, or as I like to call it, Gibbon Sports Bar. An absolute disgrace of a map. We got one Gibbon down and go back up the steps to look for a second one. And it's already clear that only an LMG will save you on this map. It's that bad. Grenades are flying around constantly. Choppers and airstrikes go right through the open roof. This is almost as bad as shipment. 3VO from a match in progress. Another match in progress on Chinatown. And did I tell you that the AK-47 got nerfed heavily? This snow leopard used to be an easy target. Not anymore though. It lives in the Chinese Gobi Desert. How ironic. Another problem on broadcast then. Tigers running loose. One of them tries to claw me, but miraculously fails. And two seconds later, another one is trying to kill me. These Bengal tigers escaped while recording a TV show and now I need to slay all of them. Luckily this soda machine keeps me covered so I can also take out one of the Siberian tigers. Quickly I must search another hideout, one that I haven't used before. Well this one seems fine. And what do you know? A white tiger. He's family of the Bengal tiger. But you can only find him in certain areas of India. It's a pigment variation on the Bengal tiger. So after all that hard work, the building is now tiger free. But then the TV network complained that they needed new tigers after a 6VO. I said fine, but you know the price. A trip to Asia doesn't come cheap. So I did a little warming up at Gibbon Sports Bar. And after 1VO, I was off to China. Because tigers don't live in Africa. Common mistake. With my heavy artillery, I immediately take down a snow leopard, but they don't want leopards. They have to be tigers, even more agile than leopards. They can climb roofs. There's no need to use bait, because they can smell me from a mile away. Ready for kill number 1000 on Beasts of the Wild? There you go, kill number 1000. Tigers are getting more clever. This was a Malayan one. He was setting up some extra lethals. I sense that this is a possible hideout number two, but that table seems good for head glitching. Almost too good. 
Indo-Chinese tiger down. Also trained by ISIS. Maybe these ISIS rebels convinced the tigers down at the TV network to become jihadis and join their cause. Who knows. Go seems clear so I'm off to do my laundry. Whoops. South China tiger. Thanks for the chopper man. I appreciate it. Siberian tiger down. Indo-Chinese tiger down. Malayan tiger down. Now, I was planning to stay here for the rest of the match, but my teammate joins me and starts making too much noise. And this is just plain bullshit. I get spawned near the marketplace and bag another snow leopard to put on my trophy wall and hide under a fruit stand from the airstrikes and chopper. 11v1. We started off with a death and finished with a death. In total, we got 42 kills today and we're at a 14.59 KD ratio with new maps and I haven't showed you Creek yet. See you on the next one guys. Peace.